Hi, I'm Dan Liebels, Senior Consultant at Stone Ridge Software, covering the Introduction to Management Reporter. This is Creating and Generating Reports, Part 4, and Management Reporter Viewer. All right, this session's on the Management Reporter, or the MR Viewer, as I'll uh, call it from here going forward. First thing we're going to do is switch our uh, default to be the Management Reporter Viewer, or MR Viewer from the web viewer. So by clicking that box and clicking OK, now when we generate a report, it will default to the MR viewer. Uh, before we do that, before we generate the report, I want to mention a couple of things. So you can launch it. There's a the viewer or report viewer icon that you can add and that will launch the viewer. So if we would launch that up on its own, it gives you a picture of the, of the report library and all of the reports that have been run um, there. So that's one way of launching it. And then it also requires the client install. So in order to have the MR viewer, you have to run the client install. So let's go ahead and generate a report. We'll select all the units again. And we'll click OK. So once generated, it will look like this. And if you saw the web viewer, um, the buttons are on the bottom here, there across the top. And depending on the selection, they'll have different, uh, they'll become active when you hit certain selections or based on the criteria you, where you have selected below. The first thing you can notice is you get the summary of all units. You kind of have the folder structure. So if I click on the home, that will give me my home numbers or the auto um, respectively. If you remember from before, those are the numbers for our auto. Or I can go back to the, the summary of all can also drill down so I can drill back into the sales and view the home and sales if I want to look at the home in detail I can see the account level or I can also see the um, the account or the transaction level as well so if I close down the transaction level um, when I get back to this I can I have this drill down and dynamics available so if I click on dynamics doesn't do anything in in Managed Reporter or the MR Viewer, but if you notice, I got another AX window open. So this opens up the AX view, so it opens up that voucher transaction inquiry view that we had that I had mentioned in the Web Viewer. And this gives you the transactions in AX, where from here you can drill down to the origin and et cetera, et cetera. And we're not going to cover that in this session. So, um, so that's a pretty neat feature to be able to go into AX. And, and view that. So let's go back to our main report. You can also use the back button to go back to your main report. And let's look at the comment feature. You can add a comment on the sales. And once you do that, then you get the little uh, yellow sheet of paper and you can view the comments there. You can also view it into your uh, navigation pane or your comment pane which is on the right hand side. The other thing you can do is copy so you can copy the comments from one version to another. They don't pass along so you can copy them from a previous version to the current version and then roll it out uh, to the end users. The Excel button allows you to do a single export to Excel so let's do that and then you have the uh, options that you can select. Now we use the current view. Um, let's do all reporting units so you can view how that is. And then you have the report type, um, which type of detail that you want to export, um, whether you want to include comments. And we'll leave all of these as default. You can do the same thing with XPS, export it to an XPS file, um, which is the Microsoft code PDF version, for lack of a better way to explain it. Okay, looks like it's done exporting, so let's go to our Excel book <coughs> and let's open up that. Had the path in that file, so here's our PL, so that'll open it up. Looks like the uh, logo came out a little bit flat, but 
we may have some formatting to do, but for the most part, the numbers came in formatted, formatted just like um, we normally do. Um, and that's the summary with all. Here's the summary um, by by business unit. Here's the home. Um, here's the home uh, account and the home transaction level. And then the auto with the, the full account or financial account and then a transaction. So it exports all of it. All into Excel. So it looks pretty handy. The XPS would work similar fashion. Um, the emailing is also an option. I don't have Outlook configured on this install, but you could click on that. It would open up Outlook, and then you could be able to send it to whomever you needed to. The link would be included in the in the embedded into the body of the email. Another way to do it is to copy the link. So if I click that copy link and I go into Word, WordPad, and just post in that path. So that's the embedded link to the path of the report into the report library. And keep in mind, security will also come into play. So if we go into the report library, we can view the permissions. Um, we can go into the permissions and view who has permissions to the, to the library and any other folders that you might want to create. So if we cancel this and open and expand this, see what other folders. So we have the public folder and then we can view the permissions on that folder so everyone has access to the public folder. So you can limit the permissions to whomever. Um, you can view, edit, create, delete, etc. You can determine who has those types of permissions on that. Okay, so now we're back to our report. Um, so that's how the copy link works. Um, you can also print Use the file print button, and that will print it out to paper. You know the old school manual way will also work. So lastly, let's close down everything, and I'll show you how that link would work. Close AX down. So this opens it up in the web viewer. So since the manager, since the viewer is not open, it will open it up into the web viewer, and that gives gives you all of the the capabilities. So I have my note or my comment there. I can view that my sales number, um, and users can do what they need to do with it from there.